Hi everybody, today I'm going to bring you some tips for shopping for fall dancewear on a budget. Dancewear is so expensive now, so I want to give you some ideas on how to kind of play the system a little bit and get a better deal for all that dancewear out there. Uh, so let's get into it. So the first tip is an app called Shop Tagger. I've mentioned it on here before, but this definitely holds true for brand new fall dancewear. Basically, this app allows you to save items in your account to get notifications when they go on sale. So you don't have to constantly keep checking for them and going back and is it on sale? Blah, blah, blah. You'll know right away, you'll get the notification and it takes the guesswork out for you. It's basically a personal shopping assistant that helps save you money. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so here is my Shop Tagger account and I've installed the button up on my toolbar. All you have to do is click get the button and it will install it. So we're going to go to the store page. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Um, Shop Tagger now supports over 1600 stores, which is just ridiculous. Um, so pretty much you can save anything, not just clothes, makeup, shoes, whatever. So we're going to go to Etsy just because they have great leotards on Etsy. They're often expensive, but Etsy will also do sales. So it's going to redirect you, and we're going to search for ballet leotard, if I can spell it correctly. Um, and, oh, this is a pretty one. So let's go to this one, and let's say, you know what, I like it. Um, not really want to pay that right now, but I want to know when it goes on sale. Um, but I don't want to keep checking back. So I'm going to go up to my button or over here, either one. So let's go to the button. And it says notify when any price change, 25% off or 50% off. This is for every item in every store. You can have, you know, notify you at any point. So I'm going to do any price change. And I'm going to add it to my leotard list that I've already made in Shop Tagger, which I'll show you. And then I'm going to save it. And that's it. And we go back to here. We go back to the store. And there it is. And I've created these uh, lists that you can organize uh, your items in. And it will notify me when it goes on sale. It's that simple. Look, I've done makeup. I've done workout gear. Um, and see, currently on sale, you get the green, uh, the green triangle if it is on sale. And it shows you exactly what percentage off it is. Look at this. $64. It's now $17.99. I mean, hello. 72% off, and I probably wouldn't have known that otherwise without checking back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Um, you can also do this on your phone. There's an app. You can do exactly the same thing with shopping apps. Uh, it'll send you notifications, and it's super, super simple. Download Shop Tagger. It's absolutely free. There's nothing, you know, no sort of hidden fine print. You just make an account, select your favorite items, and it'll tell you when they go on sale. Uh, and that's great. You can kind of pick outfits and uh, figure out exactly what you want to wear. Because I know fall dancewear is like we're just starting back to the new year and you want to kind of make a statement, even if you have to wear black leotards uh, and you want some new pieces. But like I said, they're all really expensive. So download Shop Tagger. It's free. Highly recommend it. The next one is to think outside the box. You don't necessarily have to get the big brands to look very fashionable and to look good. And they don't also necessarily have to be dancewear brands. Go to places like Forever 21, H&M, little clothing stores that might have crop tops you can wear as a sweater or fashion leg warmers you could wear for ballet. You know what I mean? You don't necessarily have to wear just dancewear in the studio. Get a little bit creative. You know, I know a lot of people who wear non-dance sweaters in the studio or even skirts or shorts or, you know, get a little bit creative. And those places have clothing for a very good deal. Um, while they might not be the most expensive pieces, you're going to sweat in these anyway. You know what I mean? So get a little creative. Check out the clothing stores. Look at Target. It doesn't necessarily have to be a dancewear brand. So my third tip is something I've also mentioned to you guys, but I really want to stress it because it's such a big thing now. Sign up for dancewear email lists. Oftentimes they will send out promo codes uh, to people who are only on their email list. If a sale's going on, if they're having a coupon code, I know a lot of the big brands do that. They will send, you know, fall Labor Day sale 20% off 
coupon and you will only get that coupon and only know about the coupon if you signed up for the email list. So go to, you know, if you have a favorite dancewear brand, sign up, put your email. They don't typically send you too many emails. Um, and anytime you see promo code, take advantage of that. And uh, you will not be able to find it just on their website. Or you might be able to, but they're not really going to notify you unless you sign up for the email. So if you have a dancewear brand that you love that's really expensive, sign up for their emailing list and they may have a sale uh, and they'll tell you about it. My last tip is to shop your own closet. Do you have some old pieces in your normal clothes that you could, I don't know, get a little creative and create some dancewear from? Like a top that might be too big for you. Can you cut it, make it a crop top, make it a dance sweater? How about your other pieces of dancewear? Go back through all your old stuff and see, okay, what can I piece together in a different way? How can I change this? You know what I mean? I showed you in a dance hacks video how to make a little top out of old tights. So I'll link that for you in a card. That's a great idea. You can get a little sheer top you can wear under over a leotard with a pair of tights that might have holes in them. So shop your own closet, both your dancewear closet and your normal clothes. You know, get a little bit creative. Allow yourself to kind of reuse what you have. Maybe it's sitting there. It's been sitting there for six months. And can you find a new way to reuse it? That is a great tip because you don't have to spend a cent. So guys, I hope this was helpful to you. I know you're excited about getting back starting for the year uh, at your ballet schools. So good luck. Have fun. Let me know how it goes. I will be uploading more classes etc. on this channel. I'm going back to my Tuesday Friday schedule and any sponsored videos will go up either on Wednesday or Saturday and not take the place of any normal content. So you'll always get Tuesday Friday and then any extra videos go up on Wednesday or Saturday. So stay tuned for all of that. If you missed my commentary on my baby ballerina days of the snow potada, it's right there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.